Alright, welcome back to another Wrestle Diary, um, the the basement edition. <laughs> I'm getting so far behind on these now that uh, I literally have to watch these shows in the middle of the night. So we're going to try and rattle quickly through days 11 and 12. And, you know, at this point no one's watching these videos, uh, which is completely fine. Uh, at this point, it, I should just make them unlisted, but for posterity, and because I want to finish what I started, we're going we're gonna to do this. So, day 11 of New Japan Pro Wrestling's G1 Climax 27 tournament. Uh, Yoshihashi vs. Bad Luck Farley. A lot better than I was expecting from those two. Particularly Yoshihashi. Again, Yoshihashi just, he does everything right. I just don't believe him. But it was a really good match. The crowd really into it, so I gave this three and three quarter stars out of five. Zack Sabre Jr. vs. To Togi Makabe. Three and a half stars. Really good work. Good stuff. Some nice moments, um, but nothing too special. Um, Yuji Nagata versus Tomohiro Ishii Maybe my favorite match of the entire tournament This was incredible and I was really waiting for this match Once I became a big fan of Nagata throughout the tournament Gave this 4 and 3 quarter stars out of 5 Yeah, it was that good for me There have been other matches that have been uh, Maybe better, you know, maybe Elgin and Okada was a better match than this But I love seeing these two guys go at it, and it's the first time I've seen Ishii look apprehensive uh, at the beginning of the match. You know, usually he's like ready to kick someone's ass, and this one he was kind of like his eyes were open a bit more, you know. Uh, and they just, again, they knocked lumps off each other. It was just incredible. My style of match, I, I loved it. Uh, Hiroki Goto versus Tetsuya Naito. Again, really good, solid work. Nothing too spectacular. Three and a half out of five for me. Uh, he uh, Goto took the Destino a couple of times and it, it seemed like they couldn't quite get it so the finisher didn't look the best but um, still they put in solid work and then the main event was Hiroshi Tanahashi versus Kota Ibushi fantastic match I uh, gave it four and a half stars and this is probably maybe even better than the well I, I don't know actually I think the Nagata Ishii match was better but yeah, again, Tanahashi, don't know how he does it with the torn bicep, but he had a, a killer match in Koto Ibushi. It's just great as always. I really love that one. Uh, day 12, we had uh, Juice Robinson versus Sanada. Uh, again, continuing the story with Juice Robinson's bad leg, um, which was exploited in big fashion by Sanada. So I think they really played that well, and Juice was just phenomenal with the selling. Uh, I thought this was a really good match. Three and three quarter stars out of five. Then we had Yano versus Michael Elgin. <laughs> half a star. One half star out of five. I hated this match. It was really not worth hardly anything. You know, ended on a DQ, made no sense whatsoever, considering Yano was going for the low blow and then he pretended he had been low blowed by Michael Elgin, which got him the disqualification victory, even though throughout this whole tournament, People have been using chairs and like tables and all sorts of gimmicks and no disqualifications, but in this case, an unseen low blow and Yano gets the win. Just and not even that, all the like you know gimmicky tricks that Yano was doing with Elgin, it just wasn't executed very well. So from every angle, this was just a bad match. Uh, the worst of the tournament by far for me. Minoru Suzuki versus Satoshi Kojima. Really damn good match. Uh, a lot of interference from both of their respective factions, with Suzuki's faction having a bit more uh, manpower than uh, Kojima, who just had Tenzan out with him, I think. So there's lots of back, back and forth, but the crowd really into it. It was really good, solid fun, um, and hard hit in action. I thought it was a really damn good match. Four, four out of five, as, as I said, I think. Tamatonga versus Kazuchika Okada. Really good match. Three, three quarters out of five. Uh, some great finishing sequences at the end, reversing each other's finishes and stuff. Uh, and then the main event was Kenny Omega versus Evil, which I gave 4 out of 5. Uh, the ending plays against it, I guess, because Evil got knocked out big time. Um, but, yeah, just... Yeah, it didn't have all the elements to, to push it above 4 stars for me, but there was a lot of great stuff in it. The uh, STO off the apron through the table was spectacular like it just looked like an explosion it was such a great like uh, high spot I suppose uh, but yeah the ending unfortunate you know Kenny Omega knocks out evil a lot of discombobulation finally gets him up on his shoulders for the one-winged angel and you know <laughs> very dangerous stuff when someone knocked out and taken a move like that uh, they managed to work through it but uh, yeah it was kind of a little bit uncomfortable um, to say the least but uh, apart from that it was, it was a really good match so there you go, I'm actually doing this in about five minutes. Why can't I do this 
um, in other videos. I guess there was just so much to say, and I'm kind of giving my thoughts on the feel of the promotion as a whole and the tournament as a whole. So, yeah, but um, Nagata and Ishii, that, that's one I'm going to go back and watch again, you know, so at least in my top two, I think, or top three favorite matches of the tournament. So, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you do have any thoughts about the tournament on New Japan, leave them down below. I'm going to get cracking on with the rest of day. I think I'm on 14 now. And as I record this, they're just about to start the final tournament day with Block B, I think. And it's going to be main evented by Omega and Okada, number three. Apparently everyone's injured. Everyone's feeling really sore and have nagging injuries at this point. The tournament is really grueling. And uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes. But uh, almost at the, the finish line. So I'm going to go back upstairs and watch some more wrestling. And I'll see you in the next video while I'll cover days 13 and 14. So... There we go. Thanks for watching. He's all right by me. <laughs> Apart from the fact he throws cans and call it into a tree. <laughs> yeah, he's really cool. Yeah, he's really cool. But he's not quite as cool as you. Cause...